Well, hello. We've got ourselves another Tesla Model 3 camping video this time. Although this time I'm not sleeping in the car, I'm actually going to test out the tent that I got specifically for car camping and travel in my Tesla. All right. Stopped and charged on the way up. Used about 40% of my uh, battery to get here. The difference between uh, where we parked and down here where there's no wind, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. First, I want to get this tent set up. Right? Ring is super loose, so I'm paranoid I'm going to lose it, so. There. Now I know I'm not going to lose it. Uh, tent. So this is the tent that I got specifically for camping out of the Tesla. How was the drive up? Uh, not too bad. Ta-da! Nothing fancy. Just big enough for me to sleep in there. Well, just as a size comparison. Just some stainless steel tent pegs that came with it. Alright. Ground's actually not too frozen. Three more to go and this thing's uh, set. All right, well, this is home for the night. <laughs> Plenty of room in here. I think it's just the right size. Gives me lots of room in there to keep all my gear and everything in there. There, to everyone who thinks that it was me who popped mine, this is still the OG one. I don't know you just bought that. Yeah, it's old. Yeah. It still holds up just fine. Leave it cold on the snow. What I want to get is some uh, insulated pads for like a garage that I can put in here to kind of insulate the ground because it is uh, <laughs> very cold on the snow. This is a modified version of my minus 20 setup that I use for backpacking. The only difference is I've got the uh, blue wool blanket instead of the brown one I normally take. It's only going to get down to minus 7 tonight and there's going to be no wind since I'm in the tent. It's just my uh, sleeping bag, which this I can get down to zero degrees Celsius comfortably. This adds another solid 10 degrees of uh, comfort and the wool will get me all the way down to minus 20. And this, this tent, this sleep setup, this is my year round cross country car camping setup. Oh yeah, lots of room for me and all my gear in here. I gotta do a video on all my gear so that you guys can see exactly what I got going on here. A little uh, solar lamp I'll put outside to collect a little bit of sunlight. It's just a lightweight backpacker style inflatable pillow. And it's got these studs on the bottom which uh, dig into whatever you're lying on and stops it from sliding around in the middle of the night. All right. All right, starting to look like a camp. So one of the things I brought with me was my thermoelectric generator. I want to try using it in the winter because compared to summer, you know, there's snow everywhere. I think this is going to go much better. You remember this thing, don't you? I think it's dead. It is not showing any signs of life, unfortunately. A little spoonful of instant coffee. Uh, and a hot chocolate. I'm for food. There we go. Spicy seasoning oil, which just wound up half in the snow. Oh, that actually smells and looks really good. Ah, got 
some light in here. Oh well, sat around the fire for the rest of the day, chatting with everyone. But now it's time to hit the hay. It's gonna get down to minus seven degrees Celsius tonight. I think it's already in that uh, that temperature zone. It's pretty pretty chilly out. All right, let's get settled. Oh man, I'm camping in luxury. I'm not used to having this much space. Yeah, so it's minus six right now, not too bad. What I'm worried about is uh, we're getting some snow overnight and I'm worried uh, about getting my car out of here in the morning. Always have a nice, warm, dry pair of socks to change into. Oh, what a difference. Nice dry socks make. Oh. Before you go to bed, if you're winter camping, that is my number one tip. Change to a nice dry pair of socks. Got my battery bank. Charging up some of my GoPro batteries. One will charge my phone. I should also uh, swap out my uh, headlamp batteries and charge those, but since I'm leaving in the morning, it'll be fine. First layer, the uh, liner. Second layer, this little blanket. Last but not least, a sleeping bag. All right, I guess I'll uh, catch up with you in the morning or if anything significant happens overnight. <sighs> Good morning. It's about quarter after seven. It snowed a lot last night. This tent is not meant for uh, winter weather. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to be sagging at all from the weight of snow. There's some snow build up on the uh, screen of the window. <sighs> so, one thing that I did experience with this tent is uh, condensation build up. I didn't have it well ventilated for most of the night. I had this window done up up until about 3, 4 o'clock. And it's the walls, especially down towards the bottom uh, on the uh, tent walls, they're all covered in a fine layer of frozen condensation. So I had to kind of move myself away from the walls a little bit so I wasn't getting uh, frosted on. You have a good warm pair of boots. They're still warm when you put them on first thing in the morning. If they've been sitting in the cold, so you know they're well insulated. I run a pair of uh, Baffin Sequoias. The question is, is my water completely frozen? No, I think it's actually still a little bit liquid. Pretty decent, considering it got down to minus 7 last night and it's been sitting around for that entire duration. Maybe it uh, stayed a little bit warmer here inside of the tent. Uh, <laughs> it's mostly ice. Yeah, not as much uh, snow accumulated on my tent as I uh, thought. A little bit on the top there, but it's not so bad. And it could just be because we're under some tree cover, but the uh, actual snow uh, accumulation hasn't been that bad. Not a bad little adventure. The best part of a car camping setup is if you don't want to take the time to get everything all nice and organized back in its stuff sack. <clears throat> you don't have to. You can just kind of roll it up and cram it into that giant duffel bag and deal with it when you get home. That is precisely what I'm going to do. So I brought my uh, 3D printed uh, buck saw, but didn't really need it since all the firewood and everything was already cut. And, but plastics held up pretty well in the cold. Does its thing, keeps that blade nice and taut. So, I can say it's been successfully tested down to uh, minus 7 degrees Celsius. I sell these in my shop if you want to buy one. Link in the description. It's a good way to help me out. Plus, you get a cool 3D printed buck saw out of it. Oh. Okay, I was smart and zipped up my tent bag last night. Sorry, 
Other than that, I learned a lot. Of, I learned a lot. My uh, fifteen dollars thrift store tent actually held up pretty well. It's not obviously meant for winter, but I think because it's so pointy, yeah. a lot of the snow just kind of falls off it. You got that at a thrift store for fifteen bucks. It's in good shape for yeah. fifteen bucks. And you know what my favorite part is? It has the wrong tent bag that it was in. Yeah. It's bigger than the tent uh, actually is. Yeah. So I could like pile it in there as loose as I want. No, no oh, stuffing it in there. That's sweet. <laughs> not bad at all. Pretty happy with this thing. All right. Let's go see how the car looks. Oh, probably covered in snow. Okay. So it ain't too bad. Definitely gotta clear this off before I hop on the highway though. I want snow flying off and hitting people. It lost 2% battery overnight. It went from 85 down to 83. Probably just from the cells balancing and uh, ambient running of the car. Every time I check on it, the car wakes up. So not too bad. Car keeps track of its temperature, knows how much performance it's gonna get out of its battery. So if I plug in home, it'll give me a pretty accurate understanding of what my battery percentage will be like by the time I get home, or if I need to stop off somewhere to charge first. And it's not actually that cold right now. I mean, it looks nuts because of how bad it's snowing, but it's only minus four, something like that. The snow is piling up on the road here. Two people have left already, so there's uh, tracks now in the snow. And it doesn't look that deep, so I might be good, but I don't want to jinx it. Ugh. What I like about this car is it's got a vent all across the dashboard, so I can just put my gloves on the vent, and that'll dry them right out. Ah. All right, we are inside the car. My windshield got covered in snow again. 82% on the dash. Huh. Says I'll get there with 48% battery. Even though it's minus four and the car sat out overnight. All right, kids, so that wraps up this one. Another Model 3 winter camping adventure. Cheers.